Hey guys, my name is Nick, and welcome to my channel! Upload is a new sci-fi comedy series on Amazon Prime Video set in the near world of 2033, where they have developed the technology to copy the human consciousness and upload it to software. They can put your brain in a computer. It's real interesting. So, you know, you're dying, you're sick, what have you. You just upload your consciousness and live in virtual heaven, as opposed to, you know, taking your chances with real heaven. And this is an interesting idea we've seen play out in shows like Altered Carbon and whatnot, being able to upload one's consciousness into technology. I'm, I'm kind of hoping they actually get on this in real life. Anyone out there in Silicon Valley, put those billions to use. The afterlife, we need a nap for that. Robbie Amell stars as Nathan, a young coder who dies in a self-driving car accident and is quickly uploaded into the afterlife. This show focuses on how he manages to exist in this new world of his with fellow people who have been uploaded as well as his friends and family back in the real world. So I gotta be honest, I don't really think Amazon Prime has really had the best track record with original content. I will be here standing them all the time because when it comes to movies, Amazon has all of the movies. But as far as their shows, um, you know, they don't really have a lot of my favorite. There are some good ones, but you know, few and far between. So I'm happy to report that there is a new show on Amazon that I think you'll actually have a good time binging. So let's talk about the pros and cons before I give you my grade. The best thing Upload introduces to us in its first season is the world building that it does, because this actually feels like the future we could see within 20 or 30 years. They've got self-driving cars, food is now 3D printed, people are using virtual reality suits to interact with the people that have been uploaded into the afterlife. I mean, it all all feels very real and that's one of my favorite things with sci-fi is seeing how you can take what we believe to be the future or interesting stuff but then infuse it with the reality of today and much like in the real world we see how the rich and powerful are the ones who really control these technologies for instance in the afterlife once people are uploaded there are like different tiers of existence you can be in it depends on how much you're spending of course sounds all too familiar doesn't it? I got sucked into hanging out in this world. I spent a good five hours binging this entire season in one sitting. I know, I need healthier hobbies. But what's unfortunate is that it doesn't really have a solid season-long storyline to be able to take away from your binge experience. For instance, in the very beginning of the show, when our main character dies in this self-driving car accident, which of course, right off the bat, you're like, that's not supposed to happen. I think something is fishy here. It appears to be murder, which is not a spoiler to say that because again that's introduced right there in the first episode but then they kind of drop that and they don't get back to it for several episodes and it's unfortunate because there's such a strong interesting story there that they don't really touch the show ends up losing its grip that it should have on you to keep you invested and interested throughout the season that works if you're just looking for a hangout show but as far as a straightforward storyline well you might check out before it gets good i would recommend watching like half of the season at least like commit to a good five episodes or so because the first few are a little rocky but once it finds its groove it becomes a really enjoyable experience what keeps this show alive are the characters and the relationships that they develop throughout the season Robbie ML plays Nathan, our main character, who might not be like the best actor with the greatest comedic timing, but he's hot. I'll take another five hours of him just screwing around in the afterlife. That was fun. Nathan continues his relationship with his still living girlfriend who is controlling his finances. He's also making friends with some of the people in this new virtual hotel that he's living in. But what's really interesting is the focus on the people in the real world and the people working at the company that that handle this entire upload situation. The people that work directly with those uploaded, those who are like, I don't know, they're like, designated customer service representatives they're called their angels and one of nathan's angels is nora of course nathan and nora how cute too cute nora is played by andy allo and she's the best part of this show because through her character we see what things are like in the real world and it's this is when they really explore a lot of the more class dynamic issues i would have liked for them to get into it a little bit more for sure but what we do get i find interesting and there's enough there to chew on that i'd like to see in further seasons plus of course nathan and nora they develop their own relationship they fall in love you can see it coming right off the bat you know what's happening 
thing. And this show does give you a lot of what you want out of just a show. There's relationship arcs, there's friendships, there's family. There's a lot of the stuff that you expect to see in a half hour comedy series, but it didn't feel gratingly unoriginal. It felt like it fit right within this material. But I do have to keep it real, and I gotta point out that the biggest problem that this show suffers from is poor writing. From bad dialogue to poor story structure, as I already said, the first couple episodes are a little and eh. everything in the middle is the sweet spot that's where it gets good and you really see what this show could be and should be and what i want it to be in a second season i mean amazon has all the money in the world hopefully they give us a second season just for shits i'll take it but i have to admit the episodes that i thought were the poorest were the ones that were written by the actual creator of the show greg daniels and i was thinking you know maybe he's like new and this is his first show and the concept was so strong they're just going with it but Nope, nope, he's a five-time Emmy winner who has worked on everything from The Simpsons to Parks and Rec, so what do I know? I'm gonna give season one of Upload a three out of five. Although it's flawed, I think it does enough to set up what could make a great show. It's fun, inventive, and I had a really good time binging it. What did you guys think of Upload? Let me know in the comments below. I binged straight through this show so hard. I was in the middle of another show, took a break, watched an entire show, taking a break from a different show. Thank you so much again, as always, for watching. I greatly appreciate it. That's all for this video, but I won't stop you from watching another.